Okay, let's roll into our post-race media availability for tonight's 56th annual Coca-Cola 600 NASCAR Sprint Cup Series race here at Charlotte Motor Speedway. And putting in a strong performance in his first points race back since uh, February is Kyle Busch. Kyle's the driver of the number 18 Skittles Toyota. Came in 11th tonight, but uh, most of that race there, particularly the second half, he was running top five. Kyle, just talk about how you feel uh, from a physical standpoint, your thoughts about how you thought you performed uh, over 600 miles here this evening. Yeah, I feel pretty good. Um, all in all, you know, I felt like that was uh, a, a great race for us. You know, we ran really strong. We ran up front. We showed we had some speed. But, um, you know, it certainly is frustrating to finish where we did. And, you know, that's disappointing. But... Uh, sometimes you do win these things by fuel mileage races. So, uh, you know, congratulations to our teammates, Carl, Carl and Matt. They, you know, they finished up front there. But um, all in all, you know, I can't say enough about everyone at Joe Gibbs Racing, everyone pulling for me and cheering for me and helping me get back into this race car. And to get out there and to uh, have a strong run means a lot. You know, real proud of my guys. Adam Stevens made some great calls tonight and got ourselves in some really good spots. And up towards the front, we raced up towards the front. We, uh, we battled side by side, door to door with guys for a little while. So, um, felt good. Uh, I feel good. And, uh, you know, I admit I probably got a, I got a little left foot soreness, but, um, other than that, you know, everything is, uh, is pretty hunky dory. Questions for Kyle Bush. We'll take a few. Raise your hand. Questions. Stan. And then to Bob. <clears throat> Stan Creekmore with RPM tonight.com. How much does running a 600 mile race prepare you for next week's Dover race, which is one of the most, you know, physically demanding events of the season. Yeah, I think this race here is actually quite relative to Dover next week. You know, this one's endurance race for as long as it is, um, you know, I think sets you up for that Dover race. The Dover race is more taxing on your body. I feel like it beats you up a little bit more. Um, but it, it being 400 laps, you know, it's, it's a tough stretch. It's maybe not 600 miles, but you know, 400 laps there is, uh, is certainly a long time at Dover. So, you know, this was a good night to come out here. I, I feel good, uh, really. Uh, I didn't get tired or nothing like that. So it probably could go, probably could go a little longer. I, I wish it would go a little longer right now, you know, but um, about 10 more laps would have been really, really nice for us. But, you know, uh, it is what it is. Let's go to Bob Pachris and Mike Embry and over here to the left. Go ahead, Bob. Uh, Bob Pachris, ESPN.com. Does it matter at all that all the other three Gibbs guys are now in the chase? Uh, do you think would that increase? I don't know whether you can increase focus on you and trying to get you in. Um, I, don't, I don't think so. Um, you know, I think it's against the rules. Last time I checked for a teammate to pull over for you to win a race, you know, so we don't want to do any of that stuff. But um, I think that, uh, huh? Yeah, I mean, certainly they can all kind of test around and try some stuff and try to find some things. I think we found some speed uh, last couple of weeks. Actually, this year, you know, the mile and a half have been a little bit better, but I feel like this week, too, they found a little bit of speed uh, with our cars. And, um, you know, the, the 20 was really fast in practice. Obviously, the 19 won tonight, the 11 won last night. But um, all in all, you know, it's, uh, it's good to be uh, back in a race car for myself. And, you know, hopefully we we can get some strong runs and get ourselves in position to win and, you know, put all four JGR cars in the chase. Mike Embry. Mike Embry, USA Today. Uh, Kyle, I know you worked really hard to get back to this tonight, but, but did you kind of surprise yourself in the fact that you made it all the way and also you were a contender? Uh, I'm a little surprised that I feel as good as I do, you know. I was, uh, I was expecting to be a little bit more beat up and tired, but uh, honestly, I, I'm not, you know, so... I don't know if that's, uh, there could be two sides to that. You know, if you go week to week to week to week to week and you grind yourself out, you could get tired. Uh, whereas though I just took a three month vacation. So, uh, I, you know, my body feels pretty good and it's only been beat up in the gym, you know. So, um, all other than that, you know, I feel, uh, I feel like this was a good night and uh, a great accomplishment. I feel like coming back this quick, um, you know, was, was a huge task, but, um, I can't thank, everyone enough um everyone at ortho carolina like those guys did a fantastic job helping me and pushing me and uh getting to me where i needed to be so uh without them you know i wouldn't be here probably take uh one more question right over here Go hey ahead. kyle rick dollar with netradiodogs.com 
Um, what kind of therapy are you doing and how's the baby doing? Uh, therapy is, is, it's everything, you know, um, it's almost just like a workout basically when I go in there, you know, it's, it's a bunch of, uh, leg machines, you know, some extensions, some curls, uh, leg presses, and then also some squats, some lunges, all that stuff, just a normal kind of gym workout thing. And then the, the therapy kind of stuff is just doing some, some other stuff, uh, some coordination type things, you know, walking on, uh, balance, uh, I don't even know, they're like styrofoam and they, you know, they wobble for you. So you got to walk on those and try to keep balance and everything and doing that forwards, backwards, you know, things like that. So, uh, a lot, a lot goes on into therapy and, uh, you know, my trainer or my therapist, he tells me, you know, Oh, we're seeing some effort today, you know, when I start sweating a little bit. So, um, he's a nice one, I tell you, but, um, you know, baby Brexton, he's doing awesome. Uh, he's he's doing really good. He was here tonight. Samantha was here tonight. So, um, you know, looking forward to going home to them and uh, getting them in bed. I'm I'm sure tonight's my night. So uh, she's been with them all day. <laughs> Thanks. All right, we got one final question here. Jay, go ahead. Get him the mic there, please. Rumor. Uh, Jay Pennell with Fox Sports. Uh, tonight was 600 miles, but next week's a tough tough track as well. Uh, how are you preparing for for Dover, and and what do you what do you expect out of that race? Um, the preparation for next week is uh, tomorrow. Just just relax. Try to try to, you know, get some fluids back in me, everything, and uh, and just kind of chill out, not do anything, take a day off. And then uh, Tuesday, it's going to be uh, you know JGR meetings, all that stuff. I got a doctor appointment, and then uh, back to therapy. Um, you know, so Tuesday I'll hit it pretty hard. Um, might go Wednesday maybe and do some 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 of the the less weight stuff, you know, just the kind of walking on the beams and whatnot to, to work on balance. And then Thursday I'll hit it again before heading on my way to Dover. So i um, thinking every day this week, you know, so um, try not to get behind and uh, keep building it up, keep getting it better. And, um, you know, every time I get in the race car, every time I get in the gym, you know, everything seems to come along a little bit better and make, make life and daily walking and stairs and everything easier. So that, you might as well not quit. Kyle, I'm told we have a question in the press box. Go ahead. Lee Spencer Motorsport.com. After um, obviously looking like you've made a, a pretty pretty strong recovery, can you talk about this week? Um, there's been a lot of talk about you know comparing the IndyCar safety team to NASCARs, and um, you know from what you've told us prior to this, but not really going into a lot of uh, depth. Um, how instrumental was NASCAR's safety program to getting you in the right position to where you could get to Halifax and start the recovery process? Yeah, I would, I would agree with your statement there that NASCAR has a safety program and they go around and they teach, you know, each racetrack to safety personnel and everything like that, or they help, you know, uh, direct what needs to happen in a crash situation. So, um, I think that's really good. Uh, I, however, do agree more probably with IndyCar that they have a specific team that goes each and every week. Um, but, you know, we do still have our, our NASCAR liaisons, the nurses that go to the every week and come to the racetrack. So they're always up to speed with uh, our medications and, and the things that we're doing and taking and, um, you know, making sure that they're always there and helping with protocol within the, um, you know, within the care center. So, um, again, you know, that there's kind of a double-edged sword to each of those things and, Having the correct doctors in the um, in the the care center, thank you, uh, is always a good thing too. You know, having some smart people in there that's that's very appreciative. So um, I, I think it was awesome what they did. Obviously, it helped me a ton uh, to be able to get out of that race car in Daytona and to tell them what was going on and to get them to get me in the ambulance on a stretcher and off to the hospital in order to get fixed up. So um, you know, I can't say enough throughout the whole process that that everybody did um, from from the time of hitting that wall to uh, to taking the checker flag tonight. Kyle, thank you very much. Certainly uh, pressed to uh, have you back. And uh, congratulations on a good couple weeks, and we'll see you at Dover.